Patna, formerly known as Pataliputra, has been a center of influence for many renowned scholars across centuries. The city received mention in accounts of the Greek scholar Megasthenes as well as in the later accounts of Fa Hien and Hu Wen-sang. Patna's pedagogy was enhanced by the discovery of the ruins of the famous Nalanda University. The University of Nalanda, being the fountainhead of knowledge and wisdom in ancient times, has successfully attracted students and scholars from Korea, Japan, China, Tibet, Indonesia, Persia and Turkey. The holistic environment of Patna evidently caused the emergence of the premier technical education imparting institute of the world in its soil. The Indian Institute of Technology, Patna, is one of those new IITs that were established by an act of the Indian Parliament after the commencement of its journey from August 6, 2008, it currently administers from its transit campus in Pataliputra colony, Patna. IIT Patna is relatively new. It was established in uh, 2008. We are four years old. However, we have been able to develop most of the academic activities within these four years time. Right now, Bihar has a growth rate of 16.7% uh, as opposed to national GDP of 6.9%. So Bihar is growing rapidly like IIT Patna is also growing very rapidly. We are very lucky that we have a large number of research projects going on right now in the institute. Uh, for example, we have generated about uh, uh, 7 crore rupees of fund from this uh, sponsored projects. We have major projects in uh, uh, all the departments uh, and these projects are being run very efficiently uh, with the facilities that are developed in this institute. IIT Patna mainly comprises three schools, School of Engineering, School of Basic Sciences and School of Humanities. Further subdivisions of the School of Engineering are departments like Computer Science and Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Chemical and Biochemical Engineering, Civil and Environmental Engineering, Material Science and Engineering. The School of Basic Sciences is made of departments like Chemistry, Physics, and mathematics, whereas the School of Humanities consists of Department of Humanities and Social Science. The Institute presently offers B.Tech, M.Tech and Ph.D. courses. IIT Patna proudly boasts of having published 200 research papers in referred international journals and presented more than 250 papers in national and international conferences. Future of this institute is very bright because IIT Patna historically is the land of education. If you will keep the example of Nalanda University, it was the uh, guru of the world those days. So I think future of IIT Patna is very bright uh, academically, research-wise also and the geographically also. The transit campus of IIT Patna is located in the premises of Navin Government Polytechnic Institute in Pataliputra colony, Patna. IIT Patna's transit campus is well equipped with state-of-the-art laboratories, an extensive library and other facilities that satisfactorily accommodate the teaching as well as research needs of both students and faculty. In addition to these high-end teaching laboratories, modern advanced laboratories have been developed to enable the pursuit of world-class research at IIT Patna.
Some of the major advanced research equipment in the various schools include High Performance Cluster Computing Facility, FPGA and other hardware design and prototyping facilities at the Computer Hardware Laboratory. Several high-end servers for simulation-based research activities, equipment for hardware cryptography and sensor network related research activities. Other major components research equipment softwares that add to the richness of the labs at IIT Patna are Mixed Signal Oscilloscope, ORCAD, PA SPICE Simulation University Suite, Solar Power Generation and Grid Integration System, Conventional and Non-Conventional Microfabrication System, Micro Laser System, Wire Electro Discharge Machining System, Automated Pulse TIG, MIG System, Rapid Prototyping System, Finite Element Softwares for simulation work along with many others. I believe that IIT Patna has been very successful in fostering an extremely dynamic environment for all the students with the state-of-the-art facilities coupled with a group of mostly young but again very enthusiastic professors. Uh, the distinguishing factor for me at IIT Patna remains the fact that we the first few batches have the rare opportunity as well as the responsibility to define what constitutes the IITP legacy. The permanent campus of the institute is planned at Bihita, which is approximately 34 kilometers from Patna. A sprawling 500 acres of land has been identified and construction is currently under progress. It is a dream that is in the process of getting materialized. We are developing a campus in Bihita, uh, which is about 35 kilometers uh, from here. This campus uh, has 500 acres of land and we have already started uh, construction in this land. We are planning to have about uh, 5,000 uh, students by the year uh, 2020 and hence the campus is uh, planned accordingly. This campus will have uh, state-of-the-art uh, facilities. Uh, for uh, sports, games, cultural uh, activities, as well as state-of-the-art equipment uh, for research and development. Also, the classrooms are all well equipped with modern gadgets for good and efficient teaching. It seems that the glory of Deden Pataliputra is regaining in terms of academics and scholastics. IIT Patna will move ahead in this direction with an aim to establish Patna as the new knowledge hub in East India.